Hello everyone. In the previous videos I have shown you how to convert hexadecimal to ASCII and in this video I want to go over uh, the EXIF metadata. This is the data that inside a photograph that may be hidden that may actually help in your case. Now we see there are 13 different items in here mostly or should I say all of them or um, .jpg files. Um, yes, it is. Um, you can click the JPEG file on in the table pane and you can view it in the view pane as a picture. And here you got some options such as you could rotate the pictures um, up to 360 degrees and it can be zoomed in or it can be zoomed out. Um, it's according to the user's view, however you want it. If you click the file metadata, the details of the image can be seen. But <laughs> if you look closer to the file creation date, it shows 22-3-2006. But this creation date is not the date that the picture was taken. Uh, the creation date was the day it was uploaded in the user's computer. If you take a look um, in the table pane and find the creation date, which is here, that's the file we have, that's the creation date, that's 7-3-2002. This is the date that the file was taken, the day and the time. Um, and even it can, it can see the time zone as well. And uh, moreover, it could tell you what um, device was used. As you could see, the device model is CyberShot device is Sony. So the image was taken from Sony CyberShot. Okay, so uh, I know it's kind of like awkward just moving here and there, but there is an option that you could just hold the column and then you could actually move it where you want it to be. So. I, it's make it more easier to identify the file um, creation time and the model or the make. Okay, um, it also shows modified and access dates which are here. And uh, these access dates, um, basically the last time this file was accessed prior to this application. And if you scroll down, it gives you a little bit of uh, a bit more detail about some of the things um, we could see about uh, the attribute values, which is standard information, file name. Um, if you don't know what is an attribute data, you can go back to my FTK Imager videos and you can watch it there. If I click the results tab, it shows the relevant information, which can be um, copy paste um, easily to the document. Um, and if you go to annotations, um, there are none. Uh, if there are any annotations added, you would be able to see it here, which sometimes gives us some clue. Under the um, other occurrences, we can see under uh, common properties here. That this is a location of the .jpg file in a particular data source called bbasher E01 which is the image that is used for this investigation and it also um, gives the name of the case, the date and the time. Another useful thing is we can right click the image, um, go to properties and we can see the similar information as we've seen in the file metadata and this is another way of gathering the information. Uh, for the next function, I'm going to right click again and this time we're going to view source file in timeline. I'm going to select um, the file creation time and uh, let's just change it to uh, one hour and check what this device was up to before and after the picture was added. Okay, let's wait. There you go. As you could see, there are plenty of other files um, accessed by the system within the given timeline.
you can view this detail uh, all these documents in details or in counts okay um, let's close this for now the next function I'm going to show is I'm going to right click it and view item in a new window. So this is a very good function because you don't have to work inside the autopsy where you could maximize the option, you could play around here. It's all details exactly the same but in a max maximized size. Um, let me close this for now. Okay, and uh, let's go for the next function again right click this is very useful function as um, adding a result tag we can choose to add, add a result tag that can give us information that we need to use later on uh, just click tag and comment which is only visible to you um, so I am gonna click follow up from the drop-down menu and uh, just simply type something like um, ignore this image and click OK. There you go. As you could see, you can see the tags and comments here. What if you wanted to remove it? I, I, I really need this picture, but I don't want this comment anymore. Just simply right click it, remove tag result. Sorry, remove result tag and it's all cleared okay so that's the exif metadata you can see when you open up an autopsy case and you can scan a drive um, but sometimes you will find that people are passing information in the file metadata and you will be able to see that in the results um, in the file metadata uh, possibly um, in the text or even in the hex all this EXIF metadata is a great thing for you to be looking at and searching for your computer forensic case. Um, you will see more information about this case in upcoming videos. And uh, for now, that's it for the EXIF metadata. And thank you for watching.